You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We'd have been over this. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago. And now she sort of roams the darkness, waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No, I don't know what I saw or heard. But whatever this is, sounds like you believe it. This is all so fucked. Just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? 
What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you! Careful, it's gonna go! Oh! Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years.
Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. cave out <laughs> look who's finding their funny bone <laughs> so what's your deal then what do you mean the whole mysterious brooding loner thing it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe so I don't fit into the right box is that what you're saying And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? No reason. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Promising? Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. 
Well, I guess the Hackett's were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? In here. Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. <laughs> a ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Sorry, Dylan, Dylan, I am oh, so, so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Hey, um, where's Abby? I just can't believe Nick would... I can't believe any of this. Yeah, I, uh... I don't think it was really Nick. She can't be gone. She can't. It was quick. She didn't suffer. She was dead in seconds. What? What's wrong with you? Just fix the car. How did this all get so fucked up? I know. We're gonna get out of here soon. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises. But if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. Sounds like a long shot. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. <sighs> yeah, let's split up, because that worked so well for us last time. There's a shelter under the lodge. Should be safe there for now. All right, all right. Good luck.
What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to... You're losing that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her?
Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? <laughs> Laura. What have you done? that she doesn't bite her beauty is inside her that's why I need to find the key tonight when I say yes you say no Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, stricter, is designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Details. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. 